Hello again, and we're back in the editing room. And I've been sent some more images. I've been sent three images by Pat Gillyfoyle. I think I've said that right. I do hope so, Pat, anyway. First of all, thank you so much for sending these images. The idea is, I put a post on my Facebook page uh, to reach out to um, some of the guys, see if they fancied sending me uh, some of their raw files for me to edit and to give a little critique on. Now, obviously, this is just my opinion on it and um, and it's my spin my edit it's it's my way of doing how I would edit this if I took this image and um, what my thought process process would be and maybe in the critique side of things where I'd improve that image um, if I had the chance of taking it again and I think that's we've got to be we've all got to be very critical about our own images I think it does us the world of good um, what we need to try and do is do that in the field as well before we get it back and um, so yes so we've got these three images um, I pr prob I might just pick one just to um, to work on so we've got the first image um, and it's the giant causeway in uh, Northern Ireland it looks a phenomenal place and it's a place where I would absolutely love to visit. I would love to do all the west coast of, of Ireland and oh, I would just be unbelievable. So you're a very, very, very lucky man. That's the first thing I would say. Okay, so obviously we've got some um, long exposure photography going on here. And... Um, I like them all for their for different reasons, to be honest with you. So it's going to be a little bit difficult to choose which one. I'm probably going to choose this one here. The reason why I'm going to choose this one, I think, is because I love the cloud formation in here. With the, with the causeway, I'm assuming that's the causeway part of it here. Um, we've got some lovely detail in the rocks in the foreground. So I think we could work with that one. If we just go back to the first one, let's let's go through them. So number one, we've got some lovely um, detail in this causeway. We've obviously got a photographer here, which we'd have to get rid of, which shouldn't be too difficult. Are we clipping on the highlights? No, so we're, we're good with that. So if we just push it any further, we're just starting to get rid of them highlights. If we bring it back, um, so that's that's something to work with looks super 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 place um, for me I think I would rather have more detail in the sky so maybe we could have took two images one with a, a faster shutter speed to get some detail in the sky and then um, and maybe maybe even um, a faster shutter speed to get more detail in the water as well and I think over the last probably 18 months to two years that's how the photography is sort of going sort of backwards. At one time it was a 30 second exposure, flatten the water out as much as possible. Now it's trying to bring more detail out in the, the, the water. Um, and it's certainly the way my photography would be going if I lived by the sea. Okay, so that's that image. I think it's superb. I do like this middle section here. So um, maybe I would crop it down. So let, let's see if it's, if I would crop it, I would probably bring it in like that. I'd change the crop to something like that. Um, and maybe, maybe bring, get rid of this, this left hand rock. I'm not quite sure about that. And I, I like that part of the image there. It's a shame I'm gonna actually clip that rock at the bottom, but I, I would even think about trying to get rid of that there. But certainly that there I'd be looking at, I think. Somewhere like that, let's have a look. For me, that, that seems a little bit more better framed. and Maybe even get rid of a bit of this sky so we could even crop it to a 16 by 9. And I, I think that would improve that image. We've also got a... I think that's more interesting. And we've just got to strain it up. Um, so if we just do an auto align on that. We'll just straighten it up. There we go, and then we could work from that. 
Um, could probably work as a nice black and white. Mm, don't know. I bet it would. I bet it would work, work well as a black and white. That could work quite well actually. So that that's what I'd, I'd, I'd go along them that route with that image. This image number three, the colours is fantastic. What I would have done in this situation would be probably was again take another image um, to try and bring out some of this this foreground detail. Now it looks like it was really at the end of the as the sun was setting so maybe an image 10 or 15 minutes before that take the same image just to try and bring a little bit of this detail out in the foreground I think we might struggle to do so let's have a look it's not too bad we've got some of the uh, digital spots going on there but that's not too bad that would take some removing and that's probably where what would help us in um, if we'd have took that image beforehand. If we just drop the shadows down, it's still a lovely, lovely image though. And I think sort of the frustrating thing for me is this rock in the, the right hand corner, I would crop it out. The problem with cropping it out is, let's just pick a crop that will suit a bit better. The problem with cropping cropping it out is we lose this lovely detail in this bit of sky here so the other way to do that well let's see what that looks like so I think that's a better crop um, and then we just need to straighten that horizon again just bring that straightish there so we've still got that rock coming in just crop it slightly again Somewhere, somewhere, let's go as far as we can, but we aren't getting that rock in. Something like that, I think we could work with that. Lovely image, oh, absolutely love this colour in this sky here, super. Just a shame we didn't bring any this detail in there, I do like that though, I do like that. Let's see if we, if we warm it up, it helps a little bit as well. Just to get rid of that bit of blueness if you like, even though it's blue hour. Yeah, it's not too bad, it's not too bad at that. Um, if, as soon as we lift the whites we're going to get rid of that if we drop the whites it actually looks better so that's what I would do I would try and lift the blacks a bit to try and bring this detail out so again that's how I would sort of work that image very very quickly and try and get the best out of that as I possibly can the The problem we've got here now is there's nothing going on in this this right hand side pretty much at all so maybe we need to crop it even more let's say let's just bring that back in there that would probably actually work at its best for me uh, I would probably drop the saturation down just a touch um, I would try and bring the this area out even more love love the causeway the causeway is Stunning, absolutely stunning. Okay, but for me, I think this this image, let me reset that. This image for me is probably the more balanced image, I think, for me. Love, love the sky, love the detail in the sky. You, you can see it's got that little bit of movement in it. I would say it's about a 30 second exposure, something like that again. Again, I think I would go back to, I really would change them exposures and, and, and even exposure blend them. Um, so let's bring them shadows up a bit so we get a little bit of detail. So we're gonna work on, we're gonna work on this image and um, see how we can prove it. First thing I would do is, is chromatic aberration. And enable the um, profiles so that's that done the th next thing I would do is actually crop it because of that little rock there I would crop it and I'd just come in slightly maybe 
No, that'll be okay. That's okay. That we can always work that again. I think the horizon's pretty straight, but we'll just check that. Looks pretty good to me. Maybe just off, maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, so that that's the start. Like I say, I love this detail in the sky, so I'll try and bring that out. Uh, we'll have a little look around. Have a look at everything else. Everything else looks pretty good. So I would start bringing this detail out in the sky. I would a bit sort of concerned about having this left bottom left and third any darker than what it is already. So I'd really concentrate on this sky area. So let's select sky. So if we go into the adjustments, select sky. Let's just see how we how well it selects, first of all. You know what, I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. So I'm just gonna drop it down slightly. And I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna have my cup of tea while I'm doing it. Um, can't spoil a good cup of tea. Because I wanna drag a little bit of this detail out. Now we've, all, we've got a slight bit of highlights blowing out there but that's that's going to be should be easily rectified there we go already starting to get that bit of mood i'm going to up the da just slightly to bring that detail out and i think i'm just going to up the clarity slightly as well and a lot a lot that a lot that already so that's that's them adjustments on the sky let's do some general adjustments um, highlights will just drop them down a little bit to give it that mood it looks like it's probably about sun's not far off setting anyway the sun's obviously quite low in the sky because you're getting that nice orange band right in the on, on this the uh, horizon there so i would tend to try and just lighten that area up and i think we'll do that with we'll just up the white slightly down the we'll up the white slightly down the blacks just just slightly um, and then I'm going to concentrate on this mid area first so we are I think what I'm going to do is because I don't want to darken this side up I'm going to do a do it with a brush I would probably have done it more with a, um, a radial filter, but because this, this left hand side is quite dark, I don't really want to get it any darker yet. So we'll, we'll do it with a brush. I'm just going to up the exposure slightly. And the other thing I'm going to do is just warm that temperature up just a little bit and I'm going to paint it in here. So I'll do that. And what I'm also going to do is just as if the lights, you can see the lights casting a couple of bits of shadow on here into the, there, one or two little areas. Just paint that little detail in. And um, I think, let's, so we have a look. The difference that that looks like so just just a little fine detail touch there okay I might just drop the amount down just slightly okay come up with that um, what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna put a I call it a manual vignette Rather than rather than grabbing the um, circular gradient tool, certainly in this situation, again, like I say, like I keep coming back to this dark area. I don't want to make it too dark, but I'm just going to darken these rocks right in the foreground here, and I'm going to make a big brush and just basically just sort of vignette it around that edge just slightly 
the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a radial filter and I'm going to bring it across here and I'm just going to up the exposure slightly with a slight bit of colour in there and I'm going to do that. But again that's just to sort of bring that last bit of sunlight coming out. That is probably as far as I'm going to go. I might just try and bring these these oranges out a bit more because you've got this this sort of cold coldness as the night's starting to fall but you've got that warmth of the sunset so we might be just be able to up that warmth slightly without overdoing it then saturation and then if I drop them down a bit there we'll just get that nice bit of orange light coming through this little letterbox here um, we've not We'll just check, we're just clipping in this bottom corner here with the blacks. So what I'm gonna do is, is just try and bring them shadows out till it doesn't clip, which is too much there. Okay, so that's not too bad, turn it off. Um, that, that's the image for me. The only, the only thing I would say is, think the detail in the front's quite good even though it was it was in quite a bit of shadow there it's not it's just a little bit too much um, shadow there let me try and just bring that out so what I'm going to do I'm going to use a brush again and I'm going to up the shadows and just try and bring that little bit of detail out of me just a little bit couple other little places where I just want to bring it out. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little bit of contrast just a little bit and then I'm going to give it a try and give it a bit of depth to the image by trying to bring these highlights out a little bit more of where the, the this bright part of the sea images, if you like, as it's been splashing over these rocks, just to give it that little bit of depth to the image. We are overdoing it, hopefully. So I'm just painting in a bit of bit of highlight, really, around that. That image so the image draws you in from the, the center of the image all the way through the causeway and, and into the sunset beyond and obviously you've got them them clouds that are moving in um, from sort of behind you into that sunset or that's what it feels like to me we'll um Like I said, I don't think there's a lot more we can do with that image. I don't think it needs warming up, we can see. Saying that, you know what? I actually quite like it, just slightly warmed. Because we've still got that nice sort of contrast of the blue hour or the, the end of sunset, if you like. That's quite nice, that is. I think that's that image done. Yeah, I think the only way we could um, look at improving that is um, what would have been nice without ever being here, it would have been nice to have this foreground frame in the bottom of the frame there. So a little bit more of the foreground. So stepping back probably a metre or so. I think that that would could have worked quite well to be honest because I love this this causeway here look that's right at the bottom I think that would have been a lovely detailed frame in the image that would have been nice which would have brought 
this down a bit, which is a still frame the image quite nice. And then what would happen is the horizon then would probably more on the top, more balanced on the top third there, because at the moment it's just a little bit low. It almost wants cropping into sort of that area. Let's have a look at that, which might actually work that little bit better. Like I say, I think if we'd have just step back maybe a meter and this is this is only trying to improve that image it's the process that I normally go through um, when I'm on site taking the shot you take the shot and then it's now what can I do to make it better what can I do to improve that image I love this part of the image here as well and that I think it would have stopped step to the right hand side if we could because there's no, no way of knowing if I could or not but if, maybe if we had stepped to the right and used that area there as a nice leading line that could have worked really well this this area here love that little area there I think that's super but yes definitely think of that um, getting more of that foreground in let's just put the crop back more of a bigger crop i think it's better actually i prefer it actually cropped in to be honest i think i'm going to crop that back in just bring that there what i'm trying to do is the things i'm looking at is is the the horizon lines on the top third which just seems more natural to the eye um, these interesting rocks here on the bottom third, we've got the big boulder that's, um, it's a little, like I say, a little bit close at the bottom here, but it's closer to that that third there. Yeah, this this rock in the, the mid-ground here, I'm not sure if it's actually a distraction for these this beautiful rocks here, I'm not 100% sure, so one way I would do it is to actually remove it and see if I prefer it. So let's let's just remove that, just out of interest. You can always, you can always not remove it, put it back in. But it's, I think it's worth a look. So we'll just go into Photoshop, in Photoshop. Um, I'll just duplicate the layer, and then we can have a look. So um, it'll just be a quick remove. Let's see, my team, mind if that don't look too bad as a remove, but. Now we can just have a look. I think that's better removed, so and that's how I'm going to keep it. I'm just going to try and get that shadow there a little bit more even. There we go. That's a little bit better. So, yep, yeah, that's um, that's that. So we'll. we'll save that which will send it back into Lightroom so we've got got that image back I definitely think it looks better without the rock definitely like I say it's just my opinion it's just my opinion I would I would like to see just a little bit more Maybe, no, no, it's, it's not too bad. A little bit more drama. Let's just see if we can make it just a little bit more dramatic by just dropping them highlights a bit. What I don't want it to do is look like two two images. No, I think we we can overcook that. Um, We could do a little bit of dodge and burn on this these couple of foreground rocks. Let's let's see if that'll help that depth as well. And when I say dodge and burn, it's just a little bit of bringing up these highlights, going in tight to the image, bringing these highlights up just slightly. There. Okay. Like the top of the rock here let's just put some highlight in the top there just where that bit of texture is on this bit of rock here we'll just 
really, I mean, we really are doing next to nothing, just real fine adjustment, just to give a little bit of depth in that image. And I think we have a winner. I'm just gonna put a very, very large vignette in. Probably about there. I'm happy with that, we'll, we'll say that. And that's that's my edit on that image and my thoughts on it and my critique. Yes, I, um, I think if I was taking this image, I would definitely, the more I looked at it, the more I would step back. Um, as I would, I'd think, I would have probably took images of a, a shutter speed of maybe more like a, a sixth of a second, a third of a second, and, and maybe took five or six, and just to see how that altered things, and maybe exposure blend it as well. You know, like you could have used say a thirty second for this area, and then and then use some more detailed images of the waves coming over. Again, but it, this is where it's harder to judge when you've not actually on scene. But that, that's how I feel for me, because it, it looks like the waves are crashing in from this area here, where it's gone a little bit whiter. And I think if they was, if you'd got a bit of texture coming over, especially these foreground rocks and things like that, I think they would look superb. Um, but still, very very nice image indeed and I do prefer the detail in the sky, sky rather than the the more blown out image and that is just a personal preference again this one would be a bit more tricky because it's obviously a lot darker um, so the exposure is going to be naturally longer so to compensate for that what I would have done was is took an image 20 minutes before of the foreground waited and then took this other image so I've got a bit of a blend going on and again I could have done some exposure blending um, with this foreground with some nice waves splashing over the rocks. Thank you very much Pat for sending them in, I thoroughly enjoyed them, excellent image um, images, very jealous, it's a place I would love to go. Super, super, super images, thank you very much, hope you enjoyed this, thanks for watching, see you soon.